Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. I'm Jennifer Bands, and today I'm gonna to show you how I make my easy, less than 30 minutes, sweet and sour chicken. We don't fry it, it's one skillet, it's super easy, and it's so good. So the full recipe is down in the description below, and so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is, I've got some green and half of a green and half of a yellow bell pepper, and I'm just gonna cut them into big chunks, because you know in sweet and sour chicken, it usually has um, big chunks of peppers. So I just chose green and yellow, because that's my favorite ones. You could use red if you want. So I'm just gonna cut these into big chunks. I'm cutting the vegetables first, so I don't have to use two cutting boards. And then after I cut the vegetables, I'm gonna cut up my chicken. Okay, I'm gonna put these all back in the bowl. Set it aside. And now we can cut up our chicken. I've got three chicken breasts, and we're going to cut them into bite-sized pieces. About that big is what you want. I'm gonna continue cutting all of these up, and then we can start the cooking. Okay, I've got a big skillet here. I've got my chicken all cut up. I'm ready to start making the sweet and sour chicken. So I'm gonna add in some avocado oil. Okay, we've got our skillet nice and hot. I'm gonna add in the chicken. We just wanna do a quick brown on all of this chicken. I just want to cook it all the way through. And what I like about this recipe is that it's not fried. Like traditionally, sweet and sour chicken is fried. And I just, I think that this is, of course, a little bit healthier. It's not as much calories. And keto fried, uh, I don't know, like it never really tastes exactly like fried chicken whatever you use in the, you know, to make it keto, to make it fried chicken. I know I've seen some people use, um, what is it, like protein powder or something like that. I've never tried it, so I'm not going to say that I don't like it, but I'm sure it does have the crunch, but I'm not sure if it has the taste. But maybe I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Have you tried the using the protein powder as chicken breading? Let me know. Okay, we've got our chicken just about cooked through. I'm gonna add in these green bell, green and yellow bell peppers. We're just gonna let these cook for about a minute to two minutes. Oops. We still want them to be a little bit crisp. Let them soften just a bit. So beautiful. Okay, it's time for our sauce ingredients. Our first ingredient is apple cider vinegar. That's our sour ingredient. We're also gonna add in some soy sauce, and if you don't like to use soy sauce, you can use coconut aminos. And I'm gonna stir in some tomato paste. For our sweet ingredient, I've got some granulated um, sugar-free sweetener. You can use Swerve, you can use Lakanto, whichever one you like. And to help bring this all together and thicken up, I'm gonna add in xanthan gum. You wanna sprinkle it lightly ar across the top just so it doesn't get into one big clump. So now I'm gonna increase the heat so this can start to bubble, and that's what will activate the xanthan gum to thicken up our sauce and help to coat all of the chicken and the peppers. And then this will be ready. And by my clock, this has been for, we've been cooking this for less than 20 minutes. And it's already starting to bubble. It's almost ready. And this is perfect served with cauliflower rice 
You could even make a cauliflower fried rice. Okay, I'm turning off the heat. I'm letting the sauce sit for a little bit so it can get even thicker. So that's what happens, xanthan gum. It thickens as it sits. So just let it sit for a little bit. It's gonna thicken and be, and coat all of the chicken and be delicious. Okay, our sweet and sour chicken is all ready and it looks amazing. Look at that. It is beautiful and it tastes just as delicious as it looks. You can find the full recipe down in the description below. You can find the link to the recipe on my blog where you can print it. And I'm so glad you watched this recipe, watch this video and let me know how much you love the recipe in the comments. I will see you guys later. Bye.